Hey everyone and welcome to my studio. So I thought we'll mix things up a bit today and let's do something a bit different and maybe take it slowly. And what I would like to do is just draw a whole picture and walk you through the process. And you know, hopefully you'll find it interesting and take something from it um, to your work or just enjoy the art process. And I'm thinking that we'll start by drawing an ocean. I like to work with a gouache brush and that's a Procreate brush, nothing fancy. I'm saying that so that you know that you don't really need to be fancy with your brushes. You can work with whatever you have. I'm thinking that's just too... There you go. And you know what, I don't like it because over here the whole texture is blocked. So, you know what, let's undo it, double tap, double tap, chip, 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 let's do it again. Okay, again. Let's try not to overwork the wave this time. Now, I hope that you can see this. This is what I like about the gouache brush, it has all this great texture and I want to be able to preserve it in the work. Okay. And a little wave over here. Okay, and now let's go to the deeper part of the ocean that are dark, dark green. And again, I'm trying not to overwork it. Mm. Okay, we have the sea. And that's just two layers. Let's add another layer. And this time, we're gonna work What are we doing here? We're adding light rays. If I'm working lightly, I'm gonna have a more transparent brush stroke. Maybe make it a little transparent. Now, let's add another layer. Make sure that we're in the light. Double tap will give me the white. Double tap here will give me the black. Again, I want the white. And I'm going to pick turpentine. We're not going to use the new layer. Um, we're going to use the seated layer. Um, because what the turpentine brush does is this. Watch. You see? It picks up the color underneath and blends it. And I picked it because I like this beautiful texture and what I'm trying to achieve is the, the form of the, the foam that is being created by the waves. I like it. Okay, so what did I do? I lowered the opacity and I made the brush larger. See what it's doing? Okay, let's keep the seal it on here. Driven snow. Water spray. 
and again if I'm not pressing my brush I won't see much if I'm pressing I'm gonna see more okay so use the pressure okay let's start drawing the jellyfish now I want a new layer and I'm working with a round brush under the painting menu
had a feast or a jellyfish. So, we're adding a new layer. We're going to place it inside the jellyfish group. And I'm working with calligraphy brush monoline. edit it, not in freeform but in warp. This layer is locked, an alpha lock. There we go, we have the jelly bean. Check the alpha lock, add another layer, and I feel that this that my jelly bean is a little foreign to everything else that's going on here, so I'm picking up my uh, gouache brush. Okay, I'm working with both layers and a jelly bean. So here is a story. Jelly bean plopped into the water. So the jellyfish sees the jelly bean dive into the water. And he's smiling because who doesn't like jelly beans? Of course, the jellyfish does. So we're gonna move in a little bit. Right. And while he moves, the jelly bean sunk into the water. Oh no, jelly bean, you're really too close to this very hungry jellyfish. Indeed, the jellyfish 
It's the jelly bean. And what happens next, guys? What happens next is very cute. He's not scared anymore. Actually, very happy. And this nice little jelly bean hearts. Isn't it cute, you all? We're done. Jellyfish versus jelly bean. I'd say it's a happy ending. Well, thanks for joining me today. Press the like button, subscribe for more art videos, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.